Hey guys and gals, sweet project cars here. Cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer. We're going to be doing a few videos on check engine lights and issues that you may come up with. But this car is pulling a lean on bank one. And if you scan down, it is also pulling a mass or volume air flow circuit low, P0102. I'm going to show you a couple of ways to check and start ruling out issues and possible uh, things that are causing the problem here. So let's jump over and do that right now. Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. This is your mass air flow sensor. If you pull this plug off while it's running and it stalls out, the mass air flow sensor is usually good. Now there's many other things that could be the cause of it, but if it stays running and you pulled it off, then the mass air flow sensor is bad. All right, it tried to stay running, but it didn't. So now we're going to check a few other things. Now because it shut off when I pulled the plug, that tells me the mass air flow sensor is not my issue right at this point. Now, when you have a lean condition, it could be one of many things. It could be your intake boot right here. It could be a vacuum leak. It's sucking air, leaning out your air fuel mixture. Now this is your intake manifold right here. Many of you already know this. What I do to find out what the problem is and where it may be, could be your PCV valve, which is back here. They're all in different places on many different cars. We're going to check and see. Maybe we got a bad seal on one of our injectors. Now I'm going to spray it around different, do this on a cold engine, spray it around on the hoses. And what I'm listening for is the engine speed to pick up or drop down. All right, nothing there. We'll spray the boot. Nothing. Now what I'm going to do is spray the intake because you could have an intake manifold gasket going out. We're going to spray that and see what happens. Now we're going to spray each injector right around the base of them. Hear that? All right, spraying it around the injectors at the base of them and spraying it at the same time it was going down on top of the intake manifold. It changed the RPMs of the vehicle and I'm going to say it's one of two things. It is either a bad seal on the injector, which is this one or this one, because it did it on these two, or the intake manifold has a crack in it or it has a bad gasket, a bad seal. All right, now let's go over why you'll pull your hair out of your head trying to find the vacuum leak. This is it right here. This is one of the seals that actually goes in. This is where your electrical plug goes. And this is where your fuel rail goes on right here. That seal is toast. Now, the other one that I was spraying, it's all cracked up. Not good. So don't rule out your injectors. Also, you get a chance to check your injectors. You can look at the screen right here. And if you can see it, you can see that it looks dirty in the screen, the very center right there. Then this one was pinched. Somehow they messed that up. That's not helping anything. And this one is dirty. You can see the dirt inside there. And of course you can't take the screen out of there. But you can see the dirt in it. 
So for a hundred bucks, change your own injectors. It's not that bad to do. It's real easy. This seal's in good shape. That's what it's supposed to look like. Nice and pliable. But this, this is where the issue came in. Hard. I can't even squeeze that. All right, guys and gals, here's the update. No check engine light. Here is the readout that we have. No codes. And we saved about three to five hundred dollars doing it ourselves. Not bad, huh? Glad you're here with us. Come back again. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.